When I was starting up the stream for this evening, I got really excited that this might have been session 13, and I could make a joke about how lucky you guys are with what's going to happen. Sadly, that is not the case. We're only on, like, session 10 or 11 or something like that. I think uh -huh. this is 12. Uh, something like that. It's not important, but, you know. Here we are, starting it up. I'm going to go ahead and bring us on over to a new page, because that's how I do. Um, you guys have just completed handing over Vinny the Fish to Larry Four Fingers uh, via proxy of some not conversationalist Japanese folk, almost assuredly y Yakuza guys, uh, and you did rescue the, I don't want to call him a snitch, he's more of like a spy, um, but the Yakuza's other operative, um, is there anything you guys want? Because you'll have a couple of days before results of that kind of come through. So I was curious if there was anything you guys might want to talk with each other about. Because there were certain reveals about, you know, a Russian guy and that kind of stuff. Uh, I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to talk anything out before I moved forward in time. Was there anything that we need to have, like, a team powwow about? Well, I know that, um... Damn it. Was it Jet that has Andre as a contact? Yeah. Yep. And you guys, Sue and Jet, both know that Dolph was at the convention center working with the guys that got you in. So there's a... I don't know if you guys want to follow up on that, or if you want to just like, nope, not our business. Um, well, as far as we know, the Vori were doing a deal with the Mop, and there's a guy that we know that is Vori, and he was doing a deal with the Mop. Like, there's no... Is there any reason for us to think that that's underhanded or shady or needs to be talked about to anybody? Uh, not at current... I don't like okay. the increased exposure. That seems to be the trend. Um, it is one of those things of like I wanted to give you, make sure I give you guys the opportunity to chit chat about it in case you wanted to chit chat about it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that uh, Jet would want Andre getting much deeper than he already is. And Dante doesn't know Dolph. Probably didn't. Wasn't exposed to him at the convention, so. He wouldn't know that unless it was brought up. All right. Uh, then there was a couple of downtime things certain people wanted to do. Some people buying stuff. Some people learning new skills. Uh, initiation time frame is based upon a month. And that is what the the extended test threshold is. Yeah. Well, initiation is super strong. Let you do crazy things. Um, but we can we can work on that a little bit after uh, after we get through. Because I'm not sure how long tonight's session is going to be, but we're going to find out together. This is true. I yeah. do keep threatening to kill you all. Um, yeah, Jet's going to replace his weapons that took a swim. Yeah. It's funny how those and, fish are just super vicious, right? Yeah. And, um... He's gonna get his bike modded. So, I'm just gonna say out loud that I'm gonna buy the, uh, the smuggler's compartment thing. Just send my van to Big Bob or something. Um, and I wanted to buy the Autosoft, if that is acquirable to me? Yeah. Okay. Now, that works only on the drone thing. Like, when I'm jumped in, it doesn't do a thing. Correct. Because when you are jumped okay. in, it uses your attribute skills and stuff. Okay, but it's gonna shoot a little better. It's gonna... No, it's gonna hit a little better. Uh when shooting on its own. Yeah, and as long as you have your um, the same weapons on a thing, like you only mm -hmm. need that one copy of the Autosoft on your RCC, 
So this way, like, you can share it to both of your roto drones if you're doing something mm-hmm. else where you're jumped somewhere else, or you can jump in one and the other one won't suck. Okay. Now, the Autosoft isn't like a smart program, something, something, so it just works for the drones. What do you mean? Mm. No, wait, 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 wait. I was looking for... Never mind, I'm going to clear that up on myself and... You got it. Do I have enough time to pick up a specialization? Uh, Specializations are like two weeks to a month, I think. Okay. But you can start working on one. I'll do that then. You know, it's not like it's a it's a crazy thing. Uh, what was the specialization you were trying to learn anyway? Uh, perception, visual. Okay. Do I want to know how he practices staring at things? Yeah, the, I'm curious about that. Binoculars. <laughs> Open windows. He just goes all to the the scenic areas and gets those big looky binoculars. He practices the. Uh, can you spot six differences between these pictures? Yeah, magic eye paintings. Yeah, it's a sailboat. <laughs> so everything's a not a sailboat, damn it! It's a schooner. Sorry. I hate you. I know, and it it makes me more powerful for you to hate me. Um. Okay, so nothing exciting is happening. No fun conversations are happening. Um, about four days are going to go by before uh, uh, it looks like Dante, because that's what the number generator has decided um, who is going to get the phone call from Larry. Well, it fits, since... Dante was the last guy talking to people. It was Larry Guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Bams, am I all healed up, or do I need to roll anything? Um, Go ahead and give me your body times two, and we'll just get a, a sure. general idea of, uh, of what kind of state you're in. 74, hot damn. Oof. I'm stronger than ever. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, so. no, you're like your what? first day, you you're pretty good. So you'll easily be able um, to just buy hits on the rest of them. Does everybody have like edge back and all that shit? Uh, yeah, unless you have more than because uh... Jet, you only have like one or two, right? I have three. I have four. Okay, yeah, no, you guys should be fine on getting edge back because it's been a couple of days. The only person that's in question is Jet, and I think he had some he didn't spend. Yeah, yeah, at one point. Just because he's... He didn't uh, spend uh, an edge, and you were almost killed? Uh, I was actually saving it for the uh, dead man switch. Which is kind of impractical, I, I think, a little bit, but... Eh, well, things maybe. shook out slightly differently. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> like, there was... If you didn't rescue him, there would have been, like, an, you know, chair light over your head interrogation scene and having an edge in that situation could have been could have been very helpful. But you guys came to um, rescue him. If I if I recall though, Dead Man Switch isn't I get to live though. Dead Man Switch is I'm dying, fuck you, right? Yep. Yeah. Which could be just as important. <laughs> nice. It was going to be to okay. drop the grenade, but uh Bams ruled that I was just moving, so Yeah. Okay, so it. I am uh, the only thing I'm doing, uh, like uh, during those four days, just gonna say is like asking about the grenades with the gas thingy. Is that possible? And looking for the drone, and that's about it. Yeah, no. Um, Besides uh, buying stuff. Let me. Big Bob can probably get you that drone because it is distinctly tied to being part of a. Uh... A vehicle. He has almost assuredly had a stolen Knight Errant Cruiser with one attached to it, uh, brought into his his possession. Mm-hmm. It's expensive, so I'm not buying it Wait, now. You're, but... you're, you're, you're you're getting a cop drone. Uh, it's a, like a small, super fast car, and it drives uh, like under your vehicle and magnetically attaches to it. 
And the, the idea was that I can either follow someone through that through a wireless signal, or I can pack it up with like plastic, which the, uh, the book itself suggested, and just blow it up, which is a, a, certain, a certain someone driving on a bike could enjoy. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Because that is an option. You guys can go knock on uh, Texas Red's door. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah we're finally not really red. I kind of want to get a little more hardcore first. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jet also wants to not be dying. Yeah, that uh, past little thing may have humbled him a bit. Maybe just a little. Um, what about... I just had an image of knocking on his door and having a flaming paper bag, but with a landmine in it. <laughs> so when he goes to stomp it out... And they're like, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get you next time. <laughs> Meddling kids. Um... I don't know if Texas Red is the kind of guy that would stomp that out or if he would just, like, drop trowel and piss it out because fuck you. And plus, I can imagine, like, the the bouncing Betty pops up and he just goes, uh, and kind of shields his eyes. <laughs> He's We're all around his... the corner sitting going, going, fuck. He just puts on some sunglasses and is like, nah, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, this happens on the weekly. God damn it, punk. Rot, what, what you doing, buddy? He's practicing his scratching, DJing. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta turn off this mic. It's getting everything. <laughs> Rot. Sorry. I believe there's a mute function you could use. I know, I know. There's also a I will. Lock. Yeah. Oh, th this actually discharges my phone really quickly, so. Uh, um, Rot. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. No, no, I have a question for you. Uh, the cube mm -hmm. is that uh, just one is three K, right? And it's bullshit. Don't don't buy it. It's I'm not stupid. buying it. I'm wiring you three K. Oh, really? Well, he just told That's you. That's so nice of you. Well, you can we get in on that. Uh, I don't think you need to. Like three k is a lot of money. You can just share with the others if the others want to. Yeah, okay. I was thinking I would be willing to split that with Chad. Yeah, I'll uh, wire each of you one uh, k as a thank you. Oh, really? Uh, the part about the drone, sure. The part about the rescue, not really, since. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Rod actually feels it's kind of his fault for not seeing uh, like the okay. tactical view of stuff. So hey, you I, were the one bitching like... about us, uh, reimbursement, so you know that's what yeah. Uh, like the drones, cool. That's uh, that's a huge thank you. But uh, like the you like uh, dying and stuff, no, no, thank you. Yeah, and uh, along with the uh, little Venmo thing, the message reads. No one must know. <laughs> All right. Um, Jed, is this the sort of thing where you would be insulted if I were to refuse that? I'm not sending it to you. Oh, okay. I had to buy a car to get information out of Big Bob. You didn't have to buy a car. <laughs> so I'm not helping reimburse your drone. You didn't uh, have to buy cool. that car. He's just such a charming... You kind of did it on your own. So That being said, I, was... I totally gave you more information for buying a car. Cause... Yeah. And then you have a jet, car. You... I'm not saying it. I, I didn't... Yeah. But I didn't drop all that money for nothing. Not saying I did, but I wouldn't have done that. So oh. now I'm a lot shorter on cash than I was previously. I know, you were, like, saving up for, like, a super-duper something-something. Uh, uh, like an armor or something. And send 1500 apiece to Rot? What? Do you want to split that and send 1500 apiece to Rot? No. Was because you guys don't know about yeah. that. You guys don't know about it. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're sending me 3k either way? Yeah. He wants to buy one of your uh, drones that died. <laughs> I'm gonna sell him the uh, the one with the holes. That's good. 
He doesn't want to buy it from you. He wants to buy it for you. <laughs> Appreciation. Oh well. All right. So so moving along to to Dante getting a phone call from Larry. Hey, hey bud. How'd uh, that thing go? Well, it's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about. Um, you get you got the opportunity to meet at the usual place. Yeah, sure. Ac- excellent. Um, oh, I'm trying to think what time of the day this would be. Let me let me find out. The usual place is the honey pot. Yeah, this is like three a.m. We should start meeting in an unusual place. Um, Dante likes the honey pot. <laughs> I mean, it is. I'd say believe as well. Place. So yeah, it's it's like three a.m. Um, uh, no, let's let's change that. Let's make it like three in the afternoon because that makes more sense. Um, yeah, he'll ask you to uh, to meet there more or less as soon as you can. And uh, yeah, sure, um, sure. I'll let everyone know, and we'll be there shortly. You okay? Uh- I have like a question uh, between getting to places like gathering at like the honeypot or on a mission or something. Are we all living like in our own apartments and such? It's like a like a Power Ranger thing when there's like a tut 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 tut, tut and we all go like to the honeypot and stuff. Uh, more or less, that's kind of how it's worked out so far. <laughs> okay. Zordon is just a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> She's a lovely a big, brick lady. Bold... A bold stripper. I'm sorry, a dancer. Oh, yeah. Rot, right, you're, you're killing me, bro. For me. Jesus. Muting, Bag muting. Chips. Delicious chips. Yes, it is. Um, so, yeah, no. It's. You will notice, Dante, that he is. There's something off in his voice as he's trying to talk to you on this phone call. Um, so. This is a thing right. that you notice. All right, we'll be there shortly. Everything okay? Oh, it's, it's going to be you guys. Are, you guys are going to take care of something for me? All right, we'll see you shortly. Yep. And then Dante will get the information to everybody else. I'll let them know that immediacy is important, and head out to his bike wheel thing. <laughs> I was about to say less a bike, more a giant circle where somebody can sit in the middle. Huh. Uh, I didn't get to fix my drone throughout like four days. No, you That's can fix a lot it. of work, I think. Uh, really? Oh, great! I mean, it's. I'm just gonna shoot it again, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm feeling better already. So, uh, it'll take you guys a varying degree of time to get there, assuming everybody is going. Uh huh. Um, because everybody doesn't live together, as we were just talking about. Um. probably about 3.30 or so in the afternoon. Uh, it looks more or less like it always has. It's just, you know, kind of early in the day, so who goes to strip clubs at, like, after lunch? Besides weird people. <laughs> There's um, a lot of strip clubs around me with lunch specials. Yeah, it's just to get you in the door. It's a trick. But, like, do the lunch specials work at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? I have no idea. Maybe it's an early bird special for your old perverts. Probably. It's like, ask about our senior citizen discount. Ugh. That means yeah. two things when you're talking about, like, both both as patient, not as patients, I'm sorry, both as customers and as uh, performers. Yeah, sorry. So, like, uh, Dante, do you forward the... Uh... The, the nervousness in Larry's voice, or is it like just let's meet? Yeah, probably just let's meet. Okay. So you guys are gonna uh... like meet up beforehand and just walk in together, or do we meet at the place? You know, it gets awkward. Um, well, I'd like for you to pick me up, so... We can probably go in together. That's going to be hard due to the size difference. 
to but physically just use like me. Pay me. Ah, that was kind of funny. Uh, yeah, okay, that's no problem. I can pick you up and uh, drive you there. Okay. Mm. Well, it was like a random call at 3 in the morning, right? Our, I like the reality check. Oh, afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Ah, so that's not that weird. Reality check. Is that weird for Larry or for like the whole situation? Would I consider it weird? Um, I don't recall what times you guys have had previous meets before, but um, like at night, I believe. Like at least in the I know. I know at least one of them was late at night because it was like, go talk to creepy voodoo lady. Really, any time, let him know I sent you. You guys like, eh, fuck it, let's go. I mean, a job happens when a job happens. Yeah. I mean, so far for you guys, that seems like we get the job. We're going to go do it tonight immediately. Because that's what you did on the. Because we were professional. One. I... Eager beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Solid work ethic. Yeah. Real go get That's ass. me, regular Jurgen Hustle. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so we're just going. Yeah. Um, Rot and Sue are probably going to get there first because Rot is a rigger and probably drives very mm -hmm. fast. Um, Although within speed limits of, like, you know, watching <coughs> behind every corner for a Yeah, there's speed drone. traps everywhere when they can monitor you via grid guide and tell you to not go fast. Oh, I bought, like, the Gridling Override, yeah. so I can speed all I want. Jet to Tacoma, which is where the, uh, where the strip club is, right? Uh, I don't remember. I think so? Alright, yeah, then, uh... Then you're probably, probably actually there, there first. Um... Uh... No, it probably makes more sense for you to be there first. You're going to notice that it's like the, the usual hostess. Uh, and she will give you the long eye as you uh, as you come in. And she's going to like... Uh, tr looking at you as though she's trying to remember you. Okay. Just like that. I know you from somewhere kind of thing. Uh, this is like the third or fourth time you guys have come here, so. And then it's going to kind of kind of click for her. Um, and she is going to go and take you to the usual room. Okay. Oh, Bams. Mm -hmm. Do I need to be re-upping my thing every session, or do we just assume that in my downtime I do it until I get it right? Re up what your spell? Yeah, I'm. I'm not that worried about it right now. Okay. Um. When the when the time comes, we'll worry about how many uh, how many hits and stuff you got on it. Because who knows, you may get shot on the way into the club or, or out of the club. Either way. Um. But you, you two guys are going to arrive. Um, Sue, no surprise to you. You will notice that the uh, the usual hostess will remember you immediately. It's like, oh, you know, very friendly. Um, yeah, everyone has the memory for this money maker. She'll. You're a charismatic man. She'll give you the laugh that is like flirtatious but is totally because she works in a strip club and is dependent upon tips not churlish so wonderful to see you again my dear yep and she will uh escort the two of you guys over there um mm -hmm. and that leaves uh yeah, how do you do? and Dante actually gets in last oh no Hex also Hex does Hex come when she's not around nope Hex is Sleeping. despawned she he does is, not uh, exist in this universe Yep. Oh, she is okay. not jacked into the Matrix. Uh, and then Dante will arrive, get kind of the... Coming up to it, the... The normal hostess is going to make sitting at the bar chit-chatting, because nobody comes in at this time. 
Um, she is going to see you come in, lean over to one of her um, her coworkers, and then the coworker is going to come up to to seat you, as it were, and you will see her go off towards the uh, the back room. Okay. Mm. He will happily be led to the normal room. Yep. And the the four of you guys are there. Is anyone else in there? Just you guys for now. Okay. Uh, a couple of minutes will go by, and uh, Dante is going to get a text message like, "Hey, are you uh, are you guys there?" Yep. Great, great. Got to get this taken care of. But it's hopefully it'll be soon. Like five minutes, and then about seven minutes later, Larry's gonna come in. Alone? Yeah, he's gonna come in by himself. How's he, how's he look? Um, let's let's get some, some perception tests or some kind of like assess Judge him or, or perception. Judge intentions will work. Um, to start off, he looks like he's been staying up a lot later than he he should. Uh, like he hasn't gotten a lot of great sleep, that kind of thing. Um, I'm sorry, you said uh, judge intentions or judge perception? intentions, perception, really, however you wanna you wanna bring it up. Okay. Just kind of label it so I can give you appropriate information in return. You're rolling your Larry skill? I don't know what that is. That's like a visual perception uh, with my cyber eyes and stuff. Sure. And I have no Larry skill. Okay, I wasn't sure. Because um, you labeled it as Larry. I know, I know. <laughs> wow, Jet, your Larry skill is impressive. Yeah. Yep. All right. So starting from the top, uh, four hits on the sensing. Um, surprising. Uh, Larry is actually awakened. He is a magician of some kind. Uh, like magic four. He's SN six. Um, How the he fuck is, have I missed that this whole time? Okay. He hasn't done anything magical. And you haven't looked. It's true. Uh, I, I've looked, I just haven't seen. <laughs> I don't remember if you've ever actually sensed him before. I have, I just haven't gotten more than like one or two hits. Oh. He was um, hiding well. He is... Nervous. How is he so fucking incompetent then? <laughs> it's <Yeah>. magic. <laughs> <laughs> he has a very specific set of skills, alright? Alright. Um, Sorry. That's fine. Um, he is anxious, nervous, and afraid. God does love fools. Uh, looking at the visual perception rolls here, um, his suit is very unkempt. Like he's been sleeping in it. Uh, it is obviously an armored suit. Um, that kind of like not cleanly pressed, not taken care of. He is a little bit of a mess but is trying to you know, went into the bathroom threw water on his face and tried to, to clean himself up. Um, he has had a long day or two it seems. Um, for judge intentions, you're going to get a lot of the same information you got off the ascensing. Like, he's he is not in a good way. Okay, now, uh, since that is not the state one wants to see its fixer in, uh, did, w were we allowed to take in weapons with us, or did we leave them somewhere? Uh, if you have, like, pistols or something, you can take that, but probably nothing better than, like, a machine pistol or a... SMG? Uh, and I have, like, a large smuggling compartment in my hand, so maybe... <laughs> I think that only fits pistol-sized stuff, if memory serves. How big is your hand? Like, it's off. It's awesomely huge. I mean, you should probably get a doctor to look at that. That's uh, like a 
like a hammer space type of deal. <laughs> Not quite, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. If you want, you could try and make like a palming roll or something to hide it, but something like SMG size, they're probably not going to be too keen on letting you carry around. Okay. Larry. Then I don't. Terrible. And Jet says with like bandages all over his face. <laughs> <laughs> He's got just like a slab of soy meat on his face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's true. yeah. You were looking like Scheisse, my friend. What just happened to you? He's like pulling at his suit a little bit, looking out the back door. Um, I was like, yeah, no, uh, that's that's why I'm here. See, the last job you guys did, it was, it was great. Um, Danke. Ex except it kind of pissed some people off. And thereafter, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, that's the word on the street. I only just recently Are they after us? Uh, I don't think so. Continue. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, um, spent the last couple of days laying low, only recently found out who's kind of after me. As you can tell, I'm a little, a little under stressed right now. Who is it? Uh, it's the Mafia. They uh, seem to the think I, I might have... I'm sorry, go ahead. The Italo-Celtic Mafia? Yeah, sure, those guys. The uh... <clears throat> They might have gotten a little upset and maybe uh, maybe a little wind of one of their guys going missing and it being maybe my fault, something about a deal going wrong. And your people are just letting you swing in the wind? And he's going to pull at the, the collar of shirt. They seem to think that this is a mess that I made and it would be uh, shameful to, to not fix it myself. It would be difficult to get used to referring to you as Larry Three Fingers. Perhaps we can help you. Yeah, no, that's that's what I'm trying to help them to avoid here. Uh, they were actually the ones that, that got me the information on the fact that there was a, a price on my head and that who it was, but, you know, after a couple of days of sake and rice, they they got tired of my company. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps this is an opportunity. An, op an opportunity? Yeah. I'm thinking so. Who is after you? What's the surprise? And what else do you know? Well, and he's going to sit down and look around and realize there's no drinks. He's like, we should get a, we should get some service or some some drinks. Hey, I can think use a drink. I don't know, Larry. Could be poisoned. You're right. His eyes kind of go a little <laughs> bit wider. Uh, yeah, uh, of course, Jet says this with a little smirk on his face. Fucking asshole. <laughs> um, He's had a rough few days. Cut him some slack. And I love it. Um, we can get a round of mead for the table. Sure. Uh, I'm like, Larry, do you want to go somewhere else? Since this is the usual place we were meeting. And he'll look like, oh shit, I didn't even think of that. Of course you didn't. <laughs> um, well, you see, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys, because you guys are my guys, and you guys are great. I was just hoping you'd be able to take care of this for me. Um, I don't really care how, or like, you know, let's let's find a place, let's, let's hide out until this blows over, and, uh, I wouldn't count on it blowing over, but perhaps we can negotiate with whoever has this problem. Um, I'd like to know who specifically it is, what the price is on your head, and what sort of resources you have available to uh, affect a positive turn in the situation. He's going to try to mull that over in his head for a minute. He's like, all right. Um, from what my guy told me, it's like, 60 grand for for my head 
uh, a little higher to to bring me in alive because you know they're they're bastards, and it's uh, the guys in Vinny the Fish's immediate uh, family. I guess is the word they'll use. They're not all actually family. You guys know that. You're... But uh, his superiors are his former reports. A little of both, I think. Like his superiors are the ones that are footing the bill, but uh, they're not exactly willing to. And he's gonna like take off his uh, like his little crappy glasses, his hipster glasses, or whatever, put them on the table. And he just Vinny was an important guy, so they don't want to do like a full war over him. But my guys aren't exactly willing to go to war over me, which is bullshit. I am way more important than they realize. This is... I just need... Man's life should be worth more than 60 grand, I believe. Who is the point of contact that one would talk to about the bounty? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure if you, you asked around, you, you could find out. Alright. We will have to do this. And resources available? I... So I was just... You guys remember how I was going down to, to California? Uh, the slots? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Did you hit the slots, Larry? <laughs> no, I, I definitely did not hit any slots, and that's part of the problem, is I have recently spent a lot of my personal finances cleaning up that other thing, which may be why... My guys aren't exactly thrilled with me right now. Hmm. So, what I is this like a favor situation? Alone. I mean, I would totally owe you guys, right? Sure. No, we're we're certainly, I believe, willing to help you out. I'm concerned about operating capital. Great. Um. He's gonna fish around his pockets and pull out like uh, like two cred sticks. He's like, right. uh, there's like two thousand, three thousand new yen on these. Kind of toss them into the table. How about those drinks? I got now, you covered. Rod, Rod is like uh, shooting some looks, some glances around the table. Like, how do we feel about that? Hmm. Let's ponder that while I wave down to my tress and get a round of Honigweiner. Sure. And I think uh, I think Dante said he was getting up and going out. Yeah. I got you covered, Larry. And I've got a place you can crash for now until it blows over. Okay. Alright. So you're gonna so go step out step one. Into stick the stick Larry. Uh, sorry. Uh you're gonna go out into the, the main area and stuff. Go track down a couple of beers. Dante? Yeah? Okay. Can you roll me uh, perception real quick? Fuck. Uh, Raj, are you general crunching? Or... Probably. Just a, a general. Could be visual if you have, or really any flavor. I do not recommend trying taste in this place. Oh. No? Okay. Uh, so one of the things you're going to notice is the the hostess that usually seats you guys is kind of watching the door, both yours and the main door, and is kind of looking back and forth them in a in a moderately nervous fashion. Um, and there's not a whole lot. There wasn't a whole lot of people in here before, but there's not a whole lot of people in here now. Like there's not even a dancer up on the stage. So it's like a. Did we hear the phone ring or something? No. Everything is comlinks these days. Is there a back exit that I can see? Not. Uh, not from here. There's like a a way that you can get back into the um. What should we call it? Uh, like dancer area. There is a a bouncer guy sitting there, but. Now. Now, Rod would probably get up and at least sort of stand in the door 
sort of, you know, like in between looking at Dante and looking at Larry, um, as he was pondering just leaving the place and going somewhere else, or possibly launching his drones, as soon as Larry said he's being looked for. You could totally launch your drones from the uh, from the car. Uh, I would probably want to do that. Sure. And uh, remember, I do have those spidey senses, so... I mean, why do you make it sound like I'm going to ambush you? I don't know. Oh, oh. Feeling. crap. Uh, Bams, did I manage to buy at least one I spy more? Uh, one more I spy? Or yeah, yeah. Things? No, they're... They're okay. cheap and not terribly hard to find. Uh, okay, okay. So you see four walls of a of a dingy private room at a strip club. As to my knowledge, you are still sitting in there. Nothing has uh, oh. has really changed. Larry looks maybe a little bit more calm, just because he's he's gotten to talk it out a little bit. But I wanted to go check out the front, see what was going on up there. Okay, um, Larry. Um... Has everybody leaves Jet and Larry in the... Uh... No, no, no. I, I'm sort of standing in the doors, looking outside, yeah. but I'm still, like, okay. in the room. I was thinking using my body to block the door. Okay. I'll just have to shoot through you. You can try. <laughs> uh, Jet? Now, Larry, uh, do you have any ideas on how to resolve this? Because if we go in blow up a bunch of mobsters, that's gonna cause more harm than good. Do you know if they're willing to, uh, accept, like, you buying off their bounty? I mean... I mean, that... That's how I get out of the last one. That's why I don't have any money right now. Um... Do you mind if I ask what the hell happened in California? That's one hell of a weekend, man. Uh, so it's it's a matter of what didn't happen? It, you saw You saw the lady that I was bringing down, right? Yeah, oh, I just thought that she was, you know, some latest source of venereal disease. It's like, oh, no, 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 there's there's magic against that, don't worry. No, uh... Daughter? Yeah, no, she, she might have been somebody important's daughter, and... Somebody daughter, you fool. I the... guess... It's time to change locations. Now. Um, so yeah, no, he admits to it being somebody's somebody's daughter, and then Dante's like, no, we got it, we got to go. Hey, odd question. As distasteful as this is, can I get Larry into my coat? I mean, you would look like a hunchbacked monster. Is that really going to make anybody blink twice, considering what I already look like? Not really, but, like... You're... You're not going to be so able to hide the... that, that it's, like, a person under there. Oh, okay. All right, you know, never mind. Like... Um... If it makes you feel any better, he is wearing probably about the same armor level of stuff as you're wearing. Okay. <laughs> Um, I shoot back at uh, Dante. Active threat? Nothing active yet. Like to keep it that way. Larry, do you know a back end exit out of here? Oh, I've uh. They don't let me in the back area with the dancers. Not after that Wonder one. Wonder why. All I need is that one time of knowledge. Actually, do you know of a back exit or no? I think there's a fire exit back there. All right, I'm gonna move to the back and cover that. There's a there is a bouncer between you and the the dancer area. All right, so Smile let's just wave. let's just head out the front. Let's get to our vehicles and get rolling. We'll pick sure. a location after we move. Let me. Uh, Rot, did you did you edge that? No, that was totally unedged. Okay, just because the because that's like uh, that's like the flying eyes have like sensor three or pilot three plus the clear soft. Okay, so it's nine dice, not twelve. Oh, is it, I'm sorry, was the twelve uh, yours? The twelve was my own, like uh, like my perception plus the, uh, gotcha, the gotcha. cyber eyes and the cyber earbuds. 
Um, so we're exiting via the front now? For right this moment, that's where we are heading, yeah. Uh, you guys, in particular Dante, because he got a bunch of hits before, you're going to you're gonna uh -huh. notice the one hostess kind of like stand up a little bit when she sees you guys filing out, and she is watching you guys. Um, who are you sensing, Sue? Out the front door is what I was intending. Okay. Um, He's a sensing out in the open. Gotcha. Uh, Rot, one of the things that your fly spy is going to see, there's a couple of people that have begun just kind of milling about the area. There's a guy on the end of the block. Um, he's got a beanie and some sunglasses, and he's smoking a cigarette, and he's looking down this direction. But he's like uh, at an alleyway. Might be suspicious. So my my drone sort of like stops, look at him, and then I'm like, oh, so he just stopped and started looking suspicious out of nowhere. <laughs> like, kind of like they come out of the back of the van and they start scanning. And as you scan, you see a guy that's over there and is kind of like looking nonchalant. Too nonchalant. Perhaps too non. One cannot try to be nonchalant because then you're not nonchalant. Hey guys, let's go down to the alley and look casual. Exactly. Yeah. Does he want to go like and Leon? look casual in the street? Oh. Uh, I mean, somebody could roll memory and see if they remember somebody that this guy looks like. Well, sure. if I'm, I'm, I'm snapping a pic so that yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sort of like, assuming that you're sending. Uh, yeah, the, like Rod is like the ta tactical type of guy, so he wants to keep everyone updated all of the time. Yep. Maximum amount of information. Dante has photographic memory. Man, look at Dante. Uh, did you get in a gun? No, it was Jet that got in a gunfight with him, right? Yeah, Dante, unfortunately, yeah. I think was on the other end, like in the hotel. Yeah. Uh, what well, everybody I'd else be that Um, I am going to edge that. Okay. Anybody else can roll because it's just kind of like you see the picture and your your brain's just kind of like, uh oh. What is memory? Logic plus willpower. Oh, fuck. Well, we did see pictures of them in advance, didn't we? Like, sort we of. had pictures of them during our, like, work on that run. Yeah, this is kind of like... Because obviously he's... If this is him, which it is, because somebody uh, somebody rolled a million hits and something yeah. about... Um, maybe the way he's standing, maybe some, like, minor detail that Rot is going to hit with this this picture. It's going to be like, nope, that's that's totally Leon or Duchess, as he was affectionately called, and he is hanging out like the dead Leon, the supposedly like taken one. Uh, did we know? I mean, did we think he died, or did they actually tell us that he wasn't? Uh, dead? No, he escaped. Yeah, you guys found Jesus. out a couple of days later that he wasn't actually dead, and he managed to escape from the morgue with a little bit of help. Right at the time that we were helping another body escape from the... Uh, probably actually a little bit after that, because it would have been a couple of days. You know, the, the cops would have taken the body with, with bunny ears, tossed it in the okay. thing, and then it gotten out of there. And it was probably actually... Uh, it's probably actually Frank that let you guys know, because, uh -huh. you know, it had taken a couple of days for that the mysterious body report to go missing and then it to kind of like fall across his desk and uh... Uh, uh, okay since since like um i mean this is uh, i'm sorry bams just yeah so as soon as i see that it's leon and i know he should be dead and he escaped and he is probably after us uh, i would like one of my drones to sort of like fly up uh near the roof to sort of like hide behind the the rooftop? Is it like far away from him that he he's not seeing it? It is a tiny flying eyeball. He has not given any indication that he has noticed it. Although mm -hmm. he is acting very nonchalant. Okay, so I am actually I, I want to glue one of my eyes to him 
and like hide it a little bit. Sure, you can go ahead and roll a, a sneaking check for it. Now this is the part where I wanted you to say, oh, "Okay, no problem." I mean, um, who knows? Somebody might go looking for it. So we know assassin. who this guy is, and we know that he is an assassin. So whether or not he has anything to do with Larry, we know that he is not good news, right? You guys know that you have uh, probably cost him a payday in the past. You do not know if he has anything to do with the situation that Larry is dealing with um, or how he feels about that whole, like... Right, but but he's probably not coming over to tell him how tell us how awesome we are for you know and how impressed he was that we defeated him. I mean, he might. Fucking babs. You don't. Know. Oh, my drone is awesome at hiding. All right, what I do mean, I think now? Uh, right now, let's let's see what you might know. Um. I mean, it is kind of forcibly nonchalant. And now, can we exit like another way? Since he's obviously on in one spot, he's not like an army of people. So has he seen us? So you guys haven't like gone outside we yet. We didn't this walk is, out, yes. This is... Rot has launched Fly Spies out of the the van. Um, oh, okay. Looked around because you guys are going to be like, oh, we have this guy who's about to do looking around for things. Um, let's totally just ignore the fact that he can look outside for us. So, like, Rot's looking around and then he's like, yo... I think this Th there's is a, a very nonchalant looking Leon around. Maybe he just want to say hi. But no, we, we were probably going the other way. Like, oh, sh uh, okay, shit. Um, yeah, um, we should go. Like, uh, can we can we nonchalantly ask our cars to come to the other side? I mean, you can ask <laughs> your vehicles to to start moving. But uh, yeah, well, the van would probably uh, maybe like drive the other direction to make it like a roundabout route, like it just left, sure, um, and then sort of get around the other side. But that is that is totally a thing you can do. It will be mm -hmm. basically impossible to do it uh, in a sneaky fashion because you have a standing vehicle that Damn. is like. Uh, just gonna start up and start driving, which you know is a thing okay, that so, happens. Okay, so but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. no, no, no. I, I believe he might know what vehicles we're driving since I had the van when we met last time. I don't know if he ever saw it, but you know. Well, you, you kind of know. I mean, you don't know yet, but you might know, and I don't know at all. So I might not do that. I, I mean, might just wait. I'll make it pretty clear they know a a, a good bit of information. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine how that happened. Uh, so can I actually judge how much does he know? Like, would it would it matter to him if I moved my vehicle? Like, would it be like a runner reality check something? I mean, he may respond in some fashion. I'm not going to tell you that until you commit. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Rod, no, I'm leaving the vehicle right now. Sure. Yes. Yes. What? So? How how long has your car been out there? Uh, since we got there, I mean, you know, uh, how, how long has it been? Like, uh, an hour, maybe? Probably not, like, an hour, because, like, Larry took seven ah. minutes, and you guys were there for a little bit before he got there, so... So, like, 20? At minimum, 15, 20. Can you, do you have, like, sensors that you can check it for shenanigans? Uh, I would have to jump in, uh, to do my sensors, but I, I'd have to do its sensors, and they're not really good. I mean, like, bombs in the seats or ignition or doors. You will know that, like, your car did not say unauthorized access. Like, there was, if he did anything to it, it, it wasn't, like, overt. Like, if somebody is going to mess with your car, like, 
He would have to hack it beforehand for it not to say anything to me. Or be really good at climbing underneath a vehicle in broad daylight and planting explosives. Uh, plus, right. I kind of glued my eye to yeah. him, so Let's, I don't think... Uh... So Dante's just going to walk out the front door and take a sharp right heading towards Leon. And send a wireless signal for his bike to start pulling itself around. <clears throat> like around oh, to you or around the block? Around to me. Okay. Okay. What's everybody else doing as Dante is a man of action? I'm on Dante. Um, uh, I, I was actually take... going to say uh, to Sue, yeah. stay with Larry. I'm uh, backing up Dante. Okay. This makes sense. We'll do that. And is uh, there a long uh, hall in uh, before you enter the club? You mean like an old boy long hall or like a... <laughs> the drug. Like a little uh, small, like like a, a, a hallway. You enter in the first set of doors, then there's a small little hallway before you enter the club proper. Yeah, like a, the little foyer where the ATM is and oh, like a bouncer. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, huh? I am going to, while I'm in there, get ready to throw down my flash pack. Well, All right. we'll hold Larry? off on that for a little bit, Jet. You no, remember? I know. Uh, no, no, we're going to, uh, just you, in case, you know, I'm just going to ready it. You and him tussled. <laughs> me and him never interacted. He I'm may not recognize me. Okay. Sure. No, I mean, I'm uh, going out, too, so, you know. Since we are, like, near the exit of the club, I, I suspect we are near the, uh, the uh, receptionist, waitress kind of the hostess person. Stand. Yeah, if you want to be. Yeah, so so I'm sort of like uh, pointing her out to Sue and saying like, uh, oh no, actually, did we hear anything about that she's behaving weirdly, or did Dante never forward that? Nope, just time to go. Okay. Yeah, there was no so details. nothing. You guys can. Yeah, no, Sue's like. Gonna, there's. I'm check her out while uh while Larry and I take a moment to appreciate the artwork in the foyer. Yeah, no, she's she's being shady as shit. As uh, Dante, Madam, if there's anything that we need to know, I would appreciate it if you could be most forthcoming. And with you asking that, and Dante going down the street, we're gonna go ahead and take our first break. <laughs>